There are two different ways to check your membrane operation. One would be to check the output and see how, many, how much water it's actually creating. The other would be to check the, the actual water's quality. To check the water quality, we need to check and see how much of the incoming contaminants are being removed with the membrane. When we say remove, we also may say reject. Um, the membrane rejects a certain amount of the incoming TDS or the incoming contaminants. TDS is total dissolved solids and we use a TDS meter to measure these particular readings to let us know what the performance of the membrane is like. So what we do is for testing the membrane for actual water quality we can get a TDS meter. In order to do this, we need to check the water that feeds the RO as well as the water that comes out of the RO. So the water that feeds the RO typically is the water that comes from your cold side of your kitchen sink. So we turn the TDS meter on and we rinse the TDS meter a couple times and then we pull a sample. Once we pull a sample, and it regulates, then we record that number. That would be your incoming reading or your in reading to the RO membrane. Then we take our RO water and we do the same thing. We rinse our meter off. We allow it to stabilize and we record that number. Once you have your readings, take the inlet reading and subtract the outlet reading. Then multiply that number by 100 and that will give you a percentage of removal. So for example, if your feed water is 100 TDS and your RO water is 10 TDS, we can subtract the RO water number 10 from 100 and that gives us 90. Then we divide it by the end number which is 100 which gives us 0.9. At that point, we can multiply by 100 to get percentage of removal. I used 110 for easy math, but this will be dramatically different with specific TDS readings. Now, if your efficiency falls below 80%, then it's time to change the membrane. Um, if you want higher quality, you may decide to change this membrane at 90%. That's entirely up to you. This is the best way to check to make sure your membrane is actually removing the contaminants it's supposed to. Another reason a membrane may need to be changed is if it is not producing enough water. Um, this can be caused by a bunch of different things, but it may be because the, the membrane is bad. One of the easiest ways to check to see if a membrane is bad is to determine if it's getting enough feed water in the first place. Sometimes if there's not enough feed water to the membrane, it will restrict the flow and, and cause low output. So to check that, what we do is we check the incoming line to the membrane to see if it has full pressure. If it has full pressure, then we know that we're getting ad adequate flow. But if it doesn't, then we may need to change the pre-filters or check the actual flow coming into the, the actual system to make sure it's adequate. So to do this, we have to shut off the tank and we're going to have to shut off the incoming feed line to relieve the pressure. So I'm going to do that now. Shut off the tank here and make sure it's bisecting and then shut off the feed water at the angle stop and make sure it's bisecting the feed water line. Then we're going to relieve the pressure at the RO faucet until nothing is coming out. Once we've done that, then we're going to remove this particular line. It's the line that feeds the membrane. So on the membrane, there's lines on both sides. On the cap side, there's one line. And on the other side, there are two lines. We're going to be on the cap side where there's only one line. Once the pressure is relieved, you can depress the collet and take the line out, like so. Now once the line is out, we need to check it for proper flow. To do this, we need to hold this particular line over a bucket or some type of cup or something so when we turn the water back on, we can see what kind of flow we have here. So let me get a cup and we'll try to do this without making a mess. It's much better to have a bucket or something like that. If you have very high pressure at the feed line coming to the membrane, then 
replace the membrane. More than likely, the membrane's clogged is why there's no output. If there's very low pressure coming to the membrane, then there's a chance that one of the pre-filters are clogged, one of the three canisters underneath. You need to check those one by one or replace them all at that point to see if the water improves. If the water doesn't happen to improve after that, then you may have a problem with the feed line actually coming from the copper plumbing of your home, and you need to check it there.